Hi everybody, it's John from Tukan Studios. A, hey. and this is why you haven't heard from me for a month because I had to tear down the complete studio. So I removed everything, the mixer, the computer, all the gear and all the furniture, literally everything out here. And then a couple of days later, back in and built everything up again. And I did this for good reasons. Not for reasonable reasons, for good reasons. So no drama here. But today I have a plugin update for you. And this is an update for the Tukan Studios Sum Channel Series 2. And maybe those of you who use it from time to time already recognized the compressor has changed. But don't worry, this is only the new default compressor because the big thing is we can choose from a list of compressors. So if you want to go back to the regular compressor it came with before, it would be this one. And for all those who don't use it from time to time, maybe you should try. This compressor features a lot of nice things. So you have this uh, compressor plot here instead of the view meter if you like. You have a soft knee option. You can use it in side chain mode and you can turn that back to the needle. And then there was this other compressor and this was the vary compressor. And in the previous version of this plugin, you could choose between the strip compressor and the vary compressor. The vary compressor also offers a plot view and here you can see why it's called a vary compressor because the ratio varies over the input. And that's why we have no ratio control here. We only have a threshold control because the harder you hit the compressor, the higher the ratio will be. But now let's get to the new features. And this would be the first one, the VCA compressor. And this is the same compressor unit as the VCA compressor you get from the single plugin, which is called VCA compressor. And then we had this famous little Tucantronics LA Tucan, which I saw gets a lot of attention on YouTube. And we have the other classic compressor, and this would be the NC76. So let's get back to the channel strip plugin and see how I put them in there. So if the VCA compressor, we have the LA Tucan, and we have the NC76. Now some of you might wonder, why do we need so many choices of different compressors? And the more experienced sound mixers among you would say, because this is the tool where you primarily shape your basic sound with. Of course, there are different equalizers, but somehow you can reach what you want with a decent equalizer. Same for the gate. And now the more obvious changes we can do in sound would be effects like a, a delay or a flanger sound. But this is a kind of sound design element while in the mixing, placing a sound in the mix with a certain characteristic often is primarily done with the compressor and with the choice of the compressor you use. So enough of talking about the channel strip plugin because we want to hear some music, right? So this is a mix I briefly set up and this is a song called Facing the Truth by the band Rock Me. And I chose this because every month there is this little mixing contest, which they call <laughs> Remixed. And this is a Reaper exclusive mixing contest. It has its own website, but you can visit this in the Reaper forums. And here we can see only Reaper is allowed and two count plugins. So for May, they chose this song. And this is a band from Thailand and they have their little YouTube. Go visit the band, they're cool. And one other thing before we start hearing music is of course, every time someone uses a Reaper theme that is not the default theme, there are plenty of comments which go like, what is this theme? And the theme I'm using today is the Reaper Tips theme. And this is made by Alejandro. Alejandro is the man behind Reaper Tips and he has a great YouTube channel. I'll link that in the description and you can click resources here and here you can get the Reaper Tips theme. Of course, he does a lot of other cool stuff. So, hey Alejandro, thank you for what you're doing. Now let's hear a couple of bars music. I think the song is cool and it has a great intro and I mix this as you can see using primarily the Sum Channel plugin of course today. So now let's press play.
By the way, if you wondered why there is no levels in the master bus, I have the main bus on my hardware mixer. So now let's see some things, maybe the um, kick drum. I used this NC76 compressor on. And this is the NC76 style as we know it, input, output, the ratio buttons and attack and release time. And you also have this all in mode. If you hold shift and click, you have all buttons pressed. They recorded the kick drum with two microphones. And here's already one little trick I used. So I sent the other microphone into the gate using the sidechain option, because with this microphone, I could trigger the gate much better. And there was another trick for the sidechain option. I used a high pass filter from another plugin. For the snare top microphone, for example, I used the VCA compressor and could look like this. And now let's come to something more special. And this is we have two more modes. And this is the NCLA mode and the LANC mode. And this simply means we use two compressors. First the NC76, then the LA2 Khan. So we see the NC76 on the top and the LA2 Khan on the bottom. And we could choose this in the other direction. So we first use the LA, then the NC compressor. But let's put that back. The combination of these two compressors is a very popular thing. For example, like I did it here, use the fast compressor, the NC compressor, to catch out some of the peaks. And then the slower opto compressor, the LA style compressor, for a bit of sound character and leveling the audio. Let's hear the vocals in solo. Have you ever been mistreated? Then you know how I would feel right now. And some of you might have recognized that we have no gain reduction metering here in the compressors. And maybe some of you might have recognized that the main meters now show us the gain reduction. So here we see the gain reduction for the NC76 and here we see the gain reduction for the LA2 can. Let's hear that again. Have you ever been mistreated? Then you know how I would feel right now. And I had to do this because we don't have enough space here for two more VU meters. But that's okay, because we can go back to the main VU meters by unchecking this gain reduction meters button here. So now we have our regular meters here. And now we have appearing here an LED meter for each of the compressors. Have you ever been mistreated? Then you know how I would feel right now. And for all who don't like this appearing and disappearing thing here, you could go to the menu, compressor stack meters, LED meters and say never. So they will not appear even if we uncheck this here. So we could only switch from gain reduction meters to regular meters or we could choose the option that it is used alternatively or always. So even if I check this here, have you ever been mistreated? Then you know how I would feel right now. And maybe again, some more things that the channel strip already had, but let's repeat that. You can change the order of the modules here so we can choose them in any order we like. Let's put that back. And this channel strip has this um, something functionality where you can group together channels and switch the desk. So this is not the only desk we could use. We could use desk one, which has another sound corrector, then desk three, go back to desk two, and we even have no desk. So it will be a kind of a digital not coloring unit. Of course, the EQs don't cramp so they sound very analog. And of course, we have the option for soft clip and hard clip, which we can enable here. And this very cool feature is the MCP metering, which gives us this nice analog mixer view. Let's again see that in context. And those who paid attention would have noticed that in this vocal channel, we have a VU meter for the output volume, 
while on these three channels here, which are guitar channels, we have a gain reduction metering. Let's see that again. Because if you do a right click, you can choose the something functionality groups, you can switch the desk, and you can choose if you want to see the output view meter or the gain reduction view meter. Now, of course, for the vocal track, this is a difficult thing because we have two compressors which do gain reduction. So let's click here. We could choose gain reduction view meter and we can choose for the stacked compressors. Do we want to see the LA2 Khan or do we want to see the NC76? So that's basically it for today. You see, you can do a lot of things with this channel strip plugin, and there are even more things to discover about the tricks with side chaining, stacking compressors, using the modules in different order, grouping together some channels, and all that stuff. And mixing that song was fun. And I really consider using this session for showing you some more details in future videos, or maybe in a stream. Let me know what you think, what you would like. But for now that's all, so have fun with the plugins and bye bye and now a bit of music. Thank you.